Oh, that sounds so much better. Now I can hear myself as well. Uh, welcome to the Humanitarians Collaborative UK Summit. Uh, as I mentioned before, my name is Kajal. I'm from um, the UK's first Asian retro station called Lyco Gold. And um, I host the breakfast show from 6 to 10, Monday to Friday. Do listen in. Um, but I also work alongside with Trident, with Shiv Kukran and family, and host majority of the events. Uh, to entertain our guests from everywhere, not just London, but from India as well. So, we are gathered here today for a dynamic event series that includes a trade conference, an awards, and a convocation, <coughs> convocation the ceremony. This event is dedicated to fostering collaboration and celebrating excellence in uh, humanitarianism and related fields as well. Jointly presented by Trident Events and Media Limited UK and T Exclusive Lifestyle and Media Private Limited India, supported by the World Humanitarians uh, Fraternity Trading as a World Humanitarians Foundation. We this event has been organised very very quickly but very nicely and very smoothly as well. And on stage, I'd like to welcome the organisers. So can we please give a big round of applause to Dr. Shiv Kakran and Mayan Tahir. Uh, Disha will come on stage, but let's give Disha a big round of applause as well, ladies and gentlemen. Can I also, um, so give them a big round of applause. They have worked very hard in a very short span of time. Um, I'd like um, Dr. Shiv Kakran to say a few words, please. Good evening, everyone. First of all, thank you very much for coming. And uh, hopefully we will enjoy this evening. Uh, we have uh, a few people absent, so um, I apologize for that because they are not too well or maybe there's a traffic and we do get some late, so we have to start this. So anyways, we enjoy the evening with this. Thank you very much. Short and sweet. So um, let's welcome our first speaker of the evening and Thank it's somebody who I just said hello to. Uh, he's very well known um, in London as the former Deputy Mayor of Southwark. First Indian elected as councillor and mayor twice in Southwark in only 2% of the Indian population. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on stage councillor Sunil Chopra. Uh, His Excellencies, uh, worshipful mayors, my friend is here, uh, ladies and gentlemen and esteemed guests. I express my gratitude to the organizers of the Humanitarians Collaborative Summit UK 2023 for affording me the privilege to address this distinguished gathering. Today, I stand before you to address a topic of paramount importance, the power of global unity in humanitarian efforts. In a world that is increasingly interconnected our collective responsibility to uplift and support one another transcend borders, cultures and differences. It is the spirit of compassion and shared humanity 
that bind us together, urging us to rise above our individual concern and work towards a better, more equitable world for all. Humanitarian efforts, by their very nature, demand a united front. The challenges we face, whether they be natural disasters, conflicts or public health crises, are indifferent to national boundaries. They impact us all, regardless of our race, religion or socio-economic status. The power of global unity lies in recognizing that our shared vulnerabilities can be transformed into collective strengths it is called to action that implores us to set aside our differences and build bridges of solidarity. In times of crisis, we have witnessed the incredible impact of coordinated international efforts. When war devastates communities, when earthquakes threatens life, and when a pandemic sweeps across the globe, it is the united response from different parts of the world in different forms that saves lives and restores hope. Armed conflict invariably leads to humanitarian crises, driving on my experience as a mayor and a councillor in Sada, I have dedicated my effort to assisting individuals who have sought refuge from regions of distress including Ukraine and Afghanistan. The power of global unity amplifies our ability to mobilize resources, expertise and compassion on a scale that is unmatched by any individual, nations or organization. Moreover, global unity in humanitarian efforts is not just about responding to crisis, it is also about addressing the root causes of suffering. Poverty, inequality and injustice are persuasive challenges that require sustained collaborative, collaborative efforts. By working together, we can implement sustainable solutions that uplift communities, empower individuals and create a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. As we stand at the crossroad of history once again in Gaza and Israel, irrespective of who started the war, the scale of humanitarian crisis where on both sides have lost more than 17,000 people. Among them, among them are countless children and innocents. This requires us to choose the path of collaboration over isolation, empathy over indifferences of unity over divisions. I request for, for to stop killing civilians and innocent. Let us harness the power of our shared humanity to create a world where compassion works no borders and where collective strength of nations transform the lives of those in those who most in need. We need to prioritize to address real challenges of humankind like climate emergency and fighting poverty. Together we have power to build a future where humanitarian efforts are not just a response to crisis but a commitment to well-being of every person on this planet. Though globally, unity, we can create a legacy of compassion, resilience <coughs> and progress that will echo through an all of time. With this word, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who was present here today from India and all part of the UK and big thank you to Shiv Karanji, uh, Shiv Kumarji to organize this event and uh, helping everybody to meet each other and create a better place to work together and thank you very much to everyone to coming here today and hopefully we'll see you thank you so much bye bye, bye.
Thank you very much, uh, sorry, Councillor Sinan Chopra. Um, first of all, I just want to quickly just remind you that um, whilst we are doing the speeches, uh, later when we finish the speeches, we'll ask everybody to come back on the stage and we'll have a few photographs as well. And your starters, if you haven't received it yet, should be coming around shortly. Um, right, so our next speech I'd like to call, uh, our next speaker, sorry, is um, actually somebody very well known again in London. Can we please give a big welcome to Councillor Hitesh Taylor? Can we please give a big, big round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Chair. I actually didn't realise I was that well known. You are. Um, apparently so. Um, yeah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and uh, esteemed colleagues, and, uh, and Councillor Chopra here as well, a good friend of mine, who was the mayor last year. He, Normally in London, we only get the chance to be mayor once, and uh, he got he got twice, you know. So he's quite lucky, uh, Councillor Sadil. Um, but the um, look, I'm deeply honoured um, here on a uh, stand here for you tonight as a guest of honour at the uh, Humanitarian Collaborative Summit and Awards uh, coming on the fr Friday, cold Friday night in December uh, in Central London. And um, but it's it's great to be invited by, by colleagues here uh, who've asked me to come along. Um, this, this event, it serves as the uh, t um, testament to the power of collective efforts in driving uh, positive change and addressing the most pressing challenges facing our world uh, today, and Councillor Chopper has sort of alluded to some of those already. And um, what I'm about to say next, assume I've sold the dictionary, by the way, in case I lose anybody, um, but as we gather to celebrate humanitarian excellence, uh, compelled to delve into a crucial aspect that underpairs our shared vision uh, for a better world, which is that, that of impactful leadership. In fact, I've just come back from an event in, in, up in Harrow, which they talked about a great leader from um, who founded uh, yeah, India. Um, tonight, uh, let us embark on a journey of exploration into the role of leadership in not only fostering economic growth, but also spearheading uh, transformative social change. Uh, join us as we navigate the landscape of leadership extends beyond the boardrooms and profit margins, venturing into the heart of communities and the soul of global collaboration. And together we'll unravel, um, these aren't my words, but the intricate dance between impactful leadership, economic prosperity and the pursuit of a more equitable and compassionate society. And I think we can all agree on that one. So in the spirit of this collaborative summit, let us delve into how leaders can drive uh, economic and social transformation hand in hand, and through the exchange of ideas and experiences, we can we find inspiration to forge a path towards a future where leadership becomes a catalyst for sustainable uh, development and, and positive societal uh, impact. And just finally, I um, should thank the sponsors, so thank you to Trident Events. Um, it's you guys. <laughs> That's them, guys. Sorry. Um, uh, for, uh, and, media for, and the World Humanitarians Foundation for orchestrating this momentous occasion, this event tonight in the lovely uh, surroundings. And to all of you distinguished guests um, tonight for being part of this uh, collective journey uh, towards hopefully impactful leadership and a brighter uh, and more inclusive. And that's always the message that we as mayors always give out for Christmas and New Year for uh, you know, a delightful New Year ahead of us. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the evening uh, as well as the dinner. And uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll get a chance to chat later on as well. Thank you. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, that of course was Councillor Hitesh Taylor. Right, so moving on to our next speaker, can I please call upon the stage to say a few words? And that's Dr. John Prade. Can I please ask him to come on the stage? Ladies and gentlemen, just please give Dr. John Prade a big, big round of applause. Namaste. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot say good evening. I have in front of me humanitarians, which shows a way, but it's not a good evening when you have Israel and Gaza. It's not a good evening when you have Ukraine and Donbass. It is not a good evening when you have war all over the world, in Congo, in other places, in Darfur, it is not a good evening. I'm sorry to 
calm your enthusiasm. You are good guys, but we are close. We have to open your, our eyes. We are close to the end of our civilization. In Dubai, they talk about climate change. Another climate change can happen. The atomic bomb all over the world. Then I hope you, humanitarians, you can do, you can do whatever you, you can in order to save the planet. I salute you and I say, being French and being Catholic, Merry Christmas for all of you, whatever your religion is. Thank you. That was Dr. John Craig. Uh, could I please now ask um, our, one of our guests who, do, who uh, attends to all of our events, um, let's have a little bit of a positive note this evening as well. Um, we are near the festive season and we are amongst uh, people who have come here quite often to acknowledge uh, Trident's um, events. And I think let's, let's try and make it a little bit positive. So the next um, speaker I'd like to call up here is Dr. Udeshwar Singh. Please give me a big, big round of applause. Thank you, Kalyu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and Mayor Hiteji and Councillor and ex-Mayor Mr. Chopra. Uh, I'm thanking you from bottom of my heart to Siv Kakran and his wife Disa, and Disa's brother Mayan. This uh, World Humanitarian Organization, I am connected to this organization from the beginning. We have started, we thought upon that and we were doing some other event, but beside that, the father of Disa, he said, why don't you guys doing something for humanity? And that was his vision, and his children has started it. And this organization is not only doing humanitarian service to only in India; they are doing to so many part of the world. So it has started. It is running. And I request all of you to support this guy for this noble cause. I am here with them. My support, my blessings and my gratitude always with them. Even high days and holy days, I stand behind them and I request all of you to stay behind them. I don't want to say many things. But I will want to say one a slokas. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pasyantu, makasir dukh bhag bhave. Meaning, sablo khushi ho, everybody. Be happy, remain happy, and wish each other happiness. Merry Christmas, everybody. Jai Hind, Jai Siyara. Thank you. That was Dr. Deshwar Singh. Before we go into the next speaker, I think I need to liven you all up. On your table, you'll see a cracker. Yeah. There should be a cracker. Right. I want you to put this in your hand. And well, the person on your left hand side, I want you to pull this cracker. Come on, let's have a little bit of fun. It's a Christmas festive period. We need a bit of humor as well. Do you have a cracker? Do you have a cracker? Right. Open up your crackers. Whatever jokes are there, read it amongst each other. Have a little laugh. If you have a crown, please, I want you to all have a little bit of a laugh this evening. 
It's a bit too quiet. So, if you have a crown, you wear it. If you have a decoration, you keep it. If you have a joke, share it with the person next to you. I can see a few crowns here. So, if you have a crown, you have to wear it. Who has a crown? I can see a few crowns on my left hand side. Yep, you with the gold one, wear it. Come on. If I had a crown, I would, but I don't. So, come on. If there is a joke in Cracker, then please listen to this joke. We also want to listen to it. Good. That's live in your film, sir. Perfect. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next speech, the next speaker I'd like to call on stage. Can I have a few moments of your silence, please? Thank you. Right, the next speaker I'd like to call on stage is somebody who is very well known in the media industry. She's been in the media industry over 20 years. She's been broadcasting a show on well-known uh, Asian radio stations contributing to the Asian community here in the UK. Her knowledge for what... Sorry, sir, can I have you... Few moments, please. Her knowledge for the Asian community, her knowledge for the media industry is... Better than Wikipedia, I would say, for sure. She's got a good sense of humor. And now she has one of the best shows on uh, UK's first Asian retro station called Life of Gold. She hosts a breakfast show with her husband. Now imagine, right? Her and her husband host a breakfast show every weekend. They talk all Bollywood. They talk all politics. They have a little bit of fun. And they like to uh, entertain the Asian community. She has contributed to the industry for a very, very long time, balancing her life with her beautiful three kids and at the same time managing a home and uh, managing our radio stations. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to give a big, big round of applause and an extra one because tomorrow is her birthday as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's please call on stage the household name in the media in the industry, of course, Ruby Raza. Please give her a big round of applause. Wow, that was a great introduction. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Thank you so much. Um, good evening, everybody. Are you all enjoying the starters? Yes? Enjoying the starters? Yeah. Great. Uh, uh, just to liven it up, I did get a joke in the cracker. I wonder if anybody's going to get this. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. <laughs> okay. That came out in the cracker. Um, let me just introduce myself once again, not that I need to. I'm Ruby Raza from Like a Gold Radio. I'm also head of production at Like a Radio and Like a Gold. So all the adverts that you hear on the airwaves, they're produced uh, by myself and our team as well. Um, media plays a big role uh, in humanity. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you so much to Trident Communications and the World Humanitarian Organization as well for inviting you all here and me as well. Um, good evening and I hope we'll have a wonderful um, evening. But the role of media in shaping humanitarian narratives is crucial. Uh, we in media, we, uh, we thrive for giving out the truth and only the truth. And we strive for giving information because radio is about information. I'd like to put, uh, ask you to put your hands up if you listen to any radio station. Do you listen to any radio station? See, there's a lot of you who have radio as part of your life. And that's why radio is important to a lot of us. So being an Asian radio station, you know, predominantly Bollywood, we're obviously giving factual information about stars, about uh, birthdays, about anniversaries, and about news as well. And this is why ex you know, examining how media can play a pivotal role in influencing pu public perception, so your thoughts, is crucial. And that's why media plays a big part. And as we mentioned by some of our previous speakers about the wars that are going on, the crises that are going on internationally, uh, whether it's um, Congo, whether it's uh, Gaza, Israel, um, any other country as well, Sudan, it's horrible to see um, the pictures that we see. And it's crucial that we, as humans, uh, know or support or do as little as we can. Sometimes it's difficult for us to sit in a different country and do anything. But the simplest thing you can do as humans is also pray for them as well, which is uh, very, very important. But when it comes to media, how do we, uh, 
how do we expose people's beliefs? How do we change what they think? And this is crucial for us to give correct information because we impact what you think, the media. And that includes all mainstream media, even Asian media as well. We talk about uh, somebody who's done a heroic, um, you know, something really heroic in their life. Um, we see that and we think, wow, I want to do that too. It influence kids, a sports person maybe, or somebody who's done something that's part of the Guinness World Records. Anything, it could be uh, exposure to people and how they think. That's why mass media is really, really important and that's why I'd like uh, all of us to remember and also pray for those people who are um, out there and social media taking a big part in, in our media as well because media, remember, is radio, television, but also social media uh, is playing a huge part in our lives. So uh, reaching out to those people, maybe whatever your beliefs are, supporting those people, but being selfless is really important as well. And this is what we at media, at Like a Radio and Like a Gold, and any other radio station, not just us, but all other radio stations, um, believe we must tell the truth, we stand for the truth, and any information we give have to be, has to be truthful and not made up. That's why media influences you, every single person here in the, in the building. You listen to a news story, you believe it. You listen to a newspaper, you believe it. Now with social media, sometimes we find out that might not be the truth. And so social media has helped us a lot as well. And I'd like to not drag this on and get into any political stories, but I'd like to say thank you so much for listening to me. It's great to be here. Uh, it's wonderful to see new faces and some known faces as well. And thank you once again to Trident Communications. Please do keep listening out to our radio stations as well, like a gold <laughs> and like a radio as well. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you, Ruby. Uh, you can wish her a happy birthday later on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like to now call. Um, we were not able to actually acknowledge one particular person today because he's not here. That's Lord Sardar Singh. But someone I'd like to call on stage to just say a few words, and that's uh, Councillor Gurdev Sehra from Richmond. Could I please ask him to come on stage and say a few words? And please give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start by just talking about something a little bit different. Uh, a few years ago, I was at a diversity, uh, racial equality event, and I was one of four speakers. And the event itself was organized in such a way that we all had to give our contribution about diversity and talk about why it's so important. And as the first speaker spoke, uh, I think he went on for a good 10 minutes. And I could, just looking, at, looking around the room, I thought, I better go a little bit easy with my speech. So I started cutting off some of, my, some of the things that I was going to say. Then the second speaker spoke. You can imagine what happened. I crossed up a few more things. By the time it got to my turn, I just said, hello, good evening, thank you, see you later. <laughs> so uh, it won't be like that this evening. I'll, I'll be very brief, because I could quite easily just say ditto, Thank you, everyone, for uh, you know coming along here. But I think the the previous speakers have made some very important points, and I don't want to repeat them. Uh, I think the issues that have been raised this evening are very very pertinent. But this is uh, a, a festive time of year. This is a celebration, and uh, we need to recognise that this is all about uh, making sure that we uh, you know we appreciate that this evening is all about commending those of you who are up for awards this evening those of you who've made that contribution for what uh, you know, uh, uh, this event is all about. So I just wanted to say you know, a, a great welcome. I know there's a, uh, a lot that we need to get through this evening. So the Humanitarian Collaborative Summit, I'm trying to say that after having had a bit of a drink, so I'll be, I'll be very brief. Uh, but it's all about um, uh, recognizing your efforts, recognizing your achievements. Uh, as I, I remember speaking with uh, Shiv Kakran about this event, and he gave me some instances of some of the, the great work that's been done, and we really ought to celebrate and recognize that as well. Uh, at the same time, I think it's, it's a great opportunity for us to recognize Shiv Kakran for all, all, the, all, all the effort that he puts in, so if we can have a quick round of applause for him as well. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> This is time for me to cross off some of the things I was going to say, so I'm not going to repeat any of that. So, um, yeah, this evening is all about you. It's all about the work that you've done. 
all about making sure you get the recognition that you deserve. And uh, I'd like to also thank Trident Events for putting this event together. Something like this doesn't really get put together with, with ease. There's a lot of uh, hard work, a lot of coordination that goes in. Often things go wrong at the last minute, and they need they need putting right uh, very very quickly. So uh, uh, you know, a great commendation to Trident Events and the World um, Humanitarians Foundation <coughs> as well. So with that, I'll end. And uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. That was Nice, short, and sweet, and very, very positive as well. So thank you for that. Um, and finally, I'd like to call on stage um, Rangat Joshiji. Please, uh, could you make your way to the stage and, of course, um, say a few words and please give uh, him a massive, massive round of applause as well. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, this relates to seeing there's lots of people over here today. And I firstly really, you know, uh, thanks to Mr. Shiv Kakran and Trident event, the organizing, organizing this event, and especially inviting in front of you to uh, speak a few words uh, today. I'm, I'm really thankful uh, to the, I call him sister, so Didi as well, uh, for me uh, to be a part of this event. and. And it is it is a truly honor to stand before you uh, as an attendee of the humanitarian uh, collaborative summit and awards tonight. Uh, we gather to only um, uh, to celebrate the achievements of the outstanding individuals and organization, but also to reflect uh, uh, reflect the uh, reflect on the profound impact of the heroes on on the humanitarian space how made in shaping the better world for us. Um, I, 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 and I'm not taking too long uh, for you guys, but this is special uh, thanks to Trident Event in Media Limited and the World Humanitarian Foundation. I extend my heartfelt gratitude for uh, bringing us together on this old, uh, special occasion. Your commitment to recognize and honoring those who make the difference is itself like the heroism. Uh, as we celebrate the heroes among us, that is also inspired to carry the touch of uh, humanitarianism uh, forward. In doing so, we contribute uh, to a legacy of compassion, resilience, and the positive impact that will shape the future of our world. Uh, thank you, and uh, thank you, and may this evening be a, a fitting tribute to the heroes who, uh, through their actions, remind us for the extraordinary possibilities that lie within the realm of humanity. Thank you, good uh, thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think what we'll do is um, let's call back the speakers on stage and let's capture a group photograph. So I'm so sorry, sir. Please come back on stage. If we can have all the speakers, so if we can have, of course, uh, Councillor Sunil Chopra ji, Councillor Hitesh Taylor, John, uh, Dr. John Prade, uh, Councillor Kuldev Sehra, Dr. Udeshwar Singh, Ruby Raza, and Randa Joshi. Please come back on stage and let's have a group photograph. Uh, Shiv, if you could come as well. And I'll ask the photographer to uh, capture a group picture. Thank you very much.
This event is uh, supported by the World Humanitarian Fund and uh, trading as the World Humanitarian Foundation. To commence the award ceremony, I would like to invite our guests again on the stage to present the awards. So could I please first of all ask Councillor Sunil Chopra to make his way on the stage and to present the first batch of awards. So let's call him on stage. Now when we do call the awardees on stage, please give them a big round of applause as well and uh, allow them 20 seconds at least for a photograph. Please let's not spend too much time on the uh, stage for a photograph. Just try and do 20 seconds and we'll call the next person on. So our first awardee on the stage uh, is from the Masala Twist Group and I'd like to call on stage Davinder Sharma, Amit Sachdeva, Manish Ranjan Koshik. And they're receiving an award for Curry Crown, yeah. Crown for leading Indian restaurant yeah, Masala so Twist like Group in Scotland. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And can I please ask our team members who um, present the award to uh, Councillor Thank you. 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 Thank and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year when it comes. And do visit our restaurants when you're coming to Scotland. Thank you. And just to remind you that uh, restaurant in Scotland is Masala Twist Group. So, uh, yeah, we're we'll definitely making my way there. Right, okay, so our next awardee is um, from ONS Convention Limited. Can I please welcome on stage Mr. Piyush Gohil? Please give him a big, big round of applause. And Piyush Gohil is receiving the award for outstanding contributions in international business relations. Okay. Can you just come in the middle? Come in the middle, please. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Siv, for recognizing my work in this business community. So, just a very brief uh, about what we do. Uh, ONS Convention is a business consultant firm in yeah. UK and India. So, we help our Indian businesses to expand in UK and Europe, and simultaneously, if anyone wants to get into the Indian market, we help. So, if anyone needs any kind of support for that, I'm here for you. So, after the event, you can contact me. We'll share the cards and once again, thank you very much for Friday events and specific issue at this short notice arranging everything. So thanks a lot and hope you enjoy your show. Thanks. Thank you so much. You know, everyone's very quiet this evening. This my friend just saw me as well. Why is everybody quiet? Yeah. You know when we clap, we have two hands and this is what we do. Okay, so next time if somebody comes back on the stage, this is what I want you to do, okay? Right, okay. So uh, let's move on to our next awardee. And I'm pleased to now uh, uh, call upon the next one, who is an Indian actor and director. Is it Charles Hill? It's a Bollywood film. Let's find out anyway. Um, <laughs> he's receiving the award for outstanding contribution to the film industry. And his name is Uda Banyu Maheshwaram. Please could you give a big, big round of applause to Mr. Uday Banu Maheshwaram and come on guys, very round of applause. And as I mentioned before, he's receiving the award for outstanding contribution to the film industry. A dialogue the one there, We need to hear a dialogue. I think we do.
Okay, thank you. So a few uh, words, please. So if you'd like to say a few words on the mic. Yeah, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first of all, I thank uh, Trident uh, Events and uh, Humanitarian Foundation for this uh, wonderful uh, uh, honor. And uh, actually, and accidentally I'm in London, like shooting for a film in uh, Heathrow. So I got the invitation from Rang, and uh, it's like uh, what do you call like? Uh, we are just only like you know uh, actors behind the camera and on screen, but uh, you guys are the real heroes, the humanitarians. So I'm so happy and honored to be part of this. Event and thank you so much for having me. Thanks. Thank you, thanks so much. I, I did try, but anyway. <laughs> right, the next awardee is also an Indian actor uh, and producer as well. She's receiving the award for making an exceptional impact in the Bhojpuri entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please now welcome on stage Miss Anara Gupta. Please give her a big round of applause. everyone and I feel so privileged and uh, to be part of here uh, such a great people and great achievement people thank you so much and happy Christmas happy New Year thank you thank you thank you, thank you so much right now for our next award I'd like to call um, this particular person who's receiving the award for the outstanding leadership and impact in the enterprise cluster ladies and gentlemen let's welcome on stage Kanda Asif Hanif Please give Kandaji a big, big, big round of applause. And please give your name and say a few words when you come, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you, this is for Kanda Asif uh, Hanif, who's not here today. Thank you. And if you could just say a few words as well. Yeah? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. Really nice uh, to be here. And Merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay, and uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, sir. Thank you thank so much. Please give uh, Mr. Sinan Chopra a very, very big round of applause. Always, always. And I think some of us are feeling a little hungry now. Yeah. So we're going to get our mains, and I'm going to do the next batch of awards after, but whilst you're eating. So ladies and gentlemen, take a break, enjoy your drink and look out for your mates, it's about to come through now and maybe about half an hour, I'll come back and see.
awardee I'd like to call on stage is receiving the award for outstanding contribution to the health care industry. Could I please request and give a, please give a big round of applause to Dr. Pranav Manik. Please let's give Dr. Pranav Manik a big round of applause. Can we have a few words from you as well, Sathya? Try again. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Hey, everyone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, myself, Dr. Pranav Manik. Uh, I am a maxillofacial surgeon and working in my private hospital for the last 16 years. Uh, routine people we used to do many type of work, is, but we do a lot of camps, screening camps, treatment camps, and many of the treatment camps which is totally free for the poor, needy, and the isolated areas of the Indian, some of the parts. Okay, uh, thank you very much for the human foundations, uh, Trident groups, especially Shiv Kumar, and all the my dignity guests, our mayor sir, and all the people. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Your award? Yeah. Don't forget your award. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Malik. Okay, and uh, now our next awardee is uh, receiving the award for unveiling new horizons in travel and tourism. I think I was just talking to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's call on stage Mr. Amit Shah from International Enterprise Limited. Thank you. And if we could have a few words as well, please, Mr. Shah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for recognizing me and uh, wish you all the best and Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, now the next award is, um, sorry, this is Okay, the next awardees are for the best banquet and restaurant in West London. Wow. Okay, and the banqueting company is called Honeymoon Banqueting. Ladies and gentlemen, please can I request on stage Asantan Pun, Subramanyam, and Siddhartha Jaiswal to please come on stage. And can we have a couple of words as well from yourselves, please? Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And we are very privileged to be here. And thank you for recognizing us. And uh, thank you, thank you very much. Welcome in your honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome here. Please do visit to our restaurant and banquet. Thank you. And that's uh, Honeymoon Banqueting, definitely, in West London. Right, ladies and gentlemen, our next awardees, I would like to now, who would, sorry, who will be receiving the award for achieving a standout impact in the event industry. Ladies and gentlemen, let's call on stage Dr. Ajay Singh. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. If we can have a few words of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't speak few. Uh, very good evening to the wonderful host out here and the uh, the guests over here. And thank you, Kajal, for inviting me here. It's really a pleasure to be on the stage, but talking about humanity is more important than anything else over here. We have to be human within ourselves, outside the society, from day one, right from every minute of us, and that's what the, uh, the, you know, the trident says. It's a humanitarian thing. We all are looking towards humanity. The humanitarian grounds are the essence of the entire world. Let's come up from the religion. Let's outgrow ourselves from the religion and be human first, then be any religious uh, belief or anything else. Thank you so much. I won't take a word. Kajal is a wonderful host. I have had her in a number of events. Tried and I think this is six or seven times. They're wonderful um, presenters to me. Thank you so much. I won't forget you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, who loves vegetarian food? Come on. I heard apparently the majority of you are vegetarians today. So all the vegetarians, put your hands up. Come on. Good, 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 good. The reason why I say this is because the next award is being received for the Best Vegetarian Restaurant Award in West London. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on stage Mubarak Abdul Jabbar Anil Rao Belpur from Madras Flavor. It's an honor, honor to receive this prestigious award and uh, uh, I thank uh, Trident Communication and uh, World Humanitarian for the recognition that uh, they have given for the Madras Flavors team uh, for the dedication and hard work that has been put in. Also, uh, I would request all the patrons to do, please visit us. Uh, it's Madras Flavors Restaurant in Onslow West and give, give us your feedback and support. Thanks a lot for your support. Thank you. We're definitely visiting their restaurant. Right, um, first of all, thank you very much for that. Thank, thank you, you so much. We can take a seat. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been so patient this evening. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And just to remind you that all these awards are being received as for recognition, achievement, and just contributing to here the UK industry and India as well. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to uh, invite uh, one of our guests to, of course, host and uh, present the next batch of awards. Can I be some silence? Please, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to welcome Councillor Hitesh Taylor to present the next awards. And uh, if we could please give him a big round of applause. And Thank you. Achha. You want to say this? No, you say no, it. You say it. <laughs> okay, let's make it a little bit, um, little bit uh, funny. What do you get if you team Santa with a detective? Anybody? Yeah. Oh God, really? <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some of you, some of you laughed, all right. Okay, that was fun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now the next award, I want to actually um, acknowledge this person because I know him pretty well. I met him back in uh, 2016, I think it was, and I was working for a television channel and he suddenly walked in and he looked at me, he wrote my date of birth and sat in front of me and told me so many things about me and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Oh. The only good thing which came out of it was, and honestly, him introducing me to my now best friend who lives in Wales, and we have such a strong bond together that every time we meet, we always, always, always thank this particular person who's coming on stage right now. Ladies and gentlemen, he's very well known in the astrology industry, 
and uh, in the television industry as well. A very funny person, and he's promised to come to my wedding as well. So thank you for that. Oh, so ladies oh. and gentlemen, um, for outstanding contribution in astrology, and he is damn good. Please let's welcome on stage Pandit Sunil Patak Ji. Shri Shri Ekhazarat Patak Ji. Pandit Ji, aapki wajah se mein aur sana bohat close hai. Close gan ban gaya hai. Please, kuch, kuch kahi hai. कुछ आपको बोलना ही पड़ेगा कुछ मंत्र या कुछ एडवाइस दीजिए आज बहुत बहुत नहीं बहुत लंबा स्ट्रेस मत करना कुछ एडवाइस दीजिए सभी लोगों को इनको थोड़ा एक्स्ट्रा टाइम दीजिए बोलने के राज जो राज प्रोहित नमः शिवाय प्रणाम पंडित पाठक का स्वीकार कीजिए मस्ती का मन मिट्टी का तन धन भर परिचय मेरा जीवन दिस बॉडी इज मेड बाय क्ले बट माय माइंड इज मेड बाय मस्ती फिक्र एवरी वन एवरीबडी विल टेल यू टू फॉलो दिस पाथ दैट पाथ बट आई एम टेलिंग यू फ्रॉम हियर जस्ट फॉलो ओनली वन पाथ एंड दैट इज द पाथ ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट दैट इज द पाथ ऑफ मस्ती एंड वी आर हियर to enjoy our life life is only one there was a great great philosopher in our religion hindu religion his name was charvak very few people know charvak charvak means beautiful speech that is called charvak yavat jivet sukham jivet rinam kritva ghritam pibet Until you live, live happily. Take loans and enjoy your life. Bhasmi dehasya bhutasya punra gamanam kuta. After death, nobody will come to this beautiful earth. So make the path of enjoyment and live life lively. This is the mantra. of this life and i would like to say few words about humanitarian it is said in manva smriti ayam nija paro vetti ganana laghu chetasam udar charita naam tu vasudhaiva kutumbakam this is mine that is yours mean minded people think like that whole world is our relatives this is the message of humanitarian people we are here to help each other it is said paropkaraye punyaya papaye par pidnam helping each other that is punya that is dharma paining anyone in this world that is paap that is bad karma so this is my message from the terrace of house of lords from the center of the world from the beautiful city london of the world thank you very much pataji ji jai ho pataji ji jai ho pataji ji jai ho Ladies and gentlemen, as Pandit Ji, please give a big round of applause. Agar he was my official uh, priest, you know, priest, yes, and my most adored person on earth. Huh? He's written in the history of Sada. Really? He was my what is called Sada Patel. Guru, guru, official, official guru. Oh, chaplain, chaplain. Oh, amazing. Yes, wow. Yes. Well, he's a very humble person. Very nice. Uh, and then I, like I said, I met him through. Um, <coughs> I met my best friend through him. He's a um, friend. He's a good person. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Next award. In fact, if I tell you the truth, so this award I am giving is not me who should be presenting it. Sorry, can we just have some silence, please? Thank you. 
We, uh, next award, it shouldn't be me giving this award, but I'm the host today, so I, I mean, I'm announcing the name, so I'll do it. Um, this particular person is receiving the award for outstanding mm. contribution to the event industry. Um, and when I mean events industry, I mean everything contributes to entertainment uh, and events as well, planning, uh, meeting people, networking. What I want to say about this particular person and the actual uh, company is, first of all, I'm from the same company. And in this company, what I love about working here is that we get to network, we get to meet other people. I get to meet beautiful people like you as well. I get to host for big events like this, um, corporate events, weddings, everything, and I love it. This particular person deserves this award because he is the director of the company. He built this company over 25 years ago. He has maintained his name in the wedding industry. And he today is known by his name. Even his company name came after his name. So actually his name comes first. Log jab unko milte na, when they meet him, they just give him a hug because they know who he is. He has love for everybody. More importantly, he understands what a client requires. Whether it's a corporate event like this, whether it's a wedding, whether it's just a birthday party, any form of celebration, he understands the client's requirements. So, um, I work with him, we are our team. And um, all I want to say to him is, uh, thank you for allowing me to work with you. And uh, I want to honor this award for you. So, um, the next award is for outstanding contribution to the event industry. Uh, to someone who I maybe worship. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award is for Zafar Iqbal. Please give him a big round of applause. He's also known as DJ Zaf, but his full name is Zafar Iqbal. So he's. Uh... Welcome, <laughs> Welcome, Zafar. Does he get a hug? Ooh. Hug me. <laughs> Isolation. I, I don't want to say I'm just too married. First of all, guy, can I just shake your hand? And just can you give me the number of all the loan companies you have used in the past? <laughs> I just need that detail. I want to live your life. Seriously. <laughs> now, Lisa, first of all, I want each and every one of you to put your hands together for the organizers, okay? We yeah. share that experience for life. I mean, I had a pleasure of working alongside these guys for the last couple of years, and seriously, I know how much work they do and how hard it is. Uh, like I just said, I've been in the industry for over 25 years. I've met amazing people through my journey, and especially cars as well. And I just want to say thank you very much. And uh, this award is just not for me, it's for my whole team. And I just want to thank you for each and every one of you guys for supporting us. Thank you. Have a good evening. We love the Sorry. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Zafar Iqbal a big round of applause. And uh, now the next one is for a particular person who uh, actually we just met very recently for achieving exceptional contribution to the civil services in the United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please call back on stage Mr. Rang Dutt Joshi. you and try the event and World Human Tradition Organization to, uh, you know, giving me this opportunity to having the whole this, you know, achievement today. And this is the place, you know, that every, every people has dream of 
to come on the stage and at you, you know, to contribute themselves to at you something new. And thanks you to you know uh, to you uh, know give me this opportunity tonight. Thanks everyone for having me as today. Thanks a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and now the next award goes to somebody who is very, very, very active in the real estate industry. He's achieved a very significant impact and has contributed to not only the India, um, sorry, not only the UK real estate industry, but also Pakistani as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next award I'd like to, of course, uh, call on upon stage is from G Stones for International Property, and that's Mr. Shahid Hussain. Please make your way to the stage. Chief and Disha and Trident Events for organizing this uh, event. I know them for a long time and they have done some excellent events for the community in the past and especially the today's topic about the humanity. I think it can't be any better time for this. Uh, secondly, uh, just a brief introduction about our company. We are based in UK and Dubai and in Pakistan and India. Uh, we also do like uh, research work on the real estate market, like current situations in UK and Dubai and Pakistan, and advise our clients where to invest at this point. So, um, I mean, today is the topic is more towards the humanitarian, so I, I don't want to speak too much about the property. But thank you for the award. Thank you. Thank you, Shanghai. Uh The next awardee is not here today, but I will take it on her behalf. <laughs> Reason being is, um, she's very, very close to us and uh, she's part of, uh, a, she is the CEO of an entertainment company. She's an events organizer, very, very well known in the Pakistani industry. Uh, her events are massive here. In fact, she works very closely with Shahid Bhai as well, Property Expos, um, Chandrad, and of course, now we have our new New Year's event coming up as well. She's not here. Um, she's let me down today because she's such a come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just acknowledge her anyway. Her name is Samreen Chaudhary, and I'm going to take her award if that's okay. Yeah, yeah? yeah. let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I do you want to say a few words? I'll keep the show. Short and sweet. Okay, um, Councillor Hitashi, thank you so much. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I have to say, Hitashi, um, everybody agrees here, but your participation has really added uh, a very, very nice special touch of honor for our event today. So thank you, and keep smiling. I love your smile. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some more awards, and uh, as we continue with the Global Inspirational Award edition, fifth edition, it's now my privilege to invite Dr. John Prey to the stage for the honor of presenting our next set of awards. And let me just give you a quick intro on uh, Dr. John Prey. He's a respected figure in our community. He's here to acknowledge and celebrate the remarkable achievements of our awardees. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a big, big, big warm welcome. Okay, so the next award I'd like to, of course, call upon. I feel like my whole family is here today, honestly. Um, she's receiving the award for Outstanding Contributions to Sales and Advertising Industry. Now, as you know, when we work in industry, sales is something which obviously contributes to our economy as well. This particular person has worked really hard uh, in the media industry, in the uh, advertising industry, in the publication industry, in sales. And she works hard. Uh, trust me, she does. In fact, um, she goes out of her way, understanding people's requirements, needs, and she'll come form a friendship with you. And then, of course, she'll come and uh, close a sale as well. But uh, she'll build a network with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call her on stage. Her stage. Alga Shah, Head of Sales from Life on Radio and Life on Gold. Please give her a big round of applause. I tease her a lot. 
So she's on Zip. I call her Alka Saben. Alka Ben Sa. But she's Alka Ben Alka Ben Sha. And she is a beautiful divine woman. So please give her a big round of applause. Namaste. <laughs> Alka Ben, Ajay, can I speak to Bolu person? No? You can't be quiet today. First of all, thank you, Kajal. You give a very nice introduction for me. And thank you to Sri Kakkar and Nadisa and recognize me, my work on here. And thank you to everybody. I know so many people here. So thank you to everybody and happy Christmas and happy New Year. Thank you so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Now I'd like to call on stage for the next awardee who will be receiving an award for outstanding contribution to the food industry in London. Let's welcome on stage Manpreet Singh Narula from Kana Kazana. Thanks, Mr. Patak and Mr. Shiv, to invite it to me here. Thank you very much. From Khana Khazana. Khana Khazana, Green Street. Most welcome, all of you, and Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so next award I'd like to now call is uh, receiving the award for outstanding contribution to the tourism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, let's call upon on stage Ajay Prakash from Krish Travel. Oh, wow. And his wife, I know. Thank you, Prakash. Yeah, no, no, you have to be there. You have to be there. You have to be there. That's fine. जग्गी पूर्ण नहीं होगा भाई जग्गी पूर्ण नहीं होगा ओके इफ यू लाइक टू सेव फ्यू वर्ड्स इज वर्ड्स या आ जाएगी आ जाएगी ये बोलने बहुत तेज़ Right, so I'm very uh, pleased to see myself in the bunch of achievers, and all the tables have got some achievers. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the uh, for, for the organizers. Thanks for the Chris Travel uh, team for making me to be here, and thanks for the guests who have been here and uh, the hosts. So I would say that I have been so successful. Talk about Chris. Yes, so I've I've been so successful with the help of the community that. Has supported my business. This is community supported, and we are doing lots of things for the community, lots of support for the community. Like nowadays, people don't have to go there in India and bring their parents on their own. We have been serving more than 30 uh, parents. We have called here in UK without the without you going there, and we are bringing them over here without any additional cost. We have a student support program, which is. Thank you. We have a student program, uh, student support program, where we are supporting our students who are who earns quite in a hard way, right? So that's why we split their payment. We say, okay, you want to go home, go home. Pay, pay us later. That's fine. We we can take that load from you. Then we have we have the team of failure concept. That means whatever we earn over here, we try to employ more people who got confused at the end of their. Um, professional, not pro professional. That study life. That okay. They don't know what to do now next. So we help them in a way that we employ them. We have been managed to got from one myself team to five members right now, and myself was also one of the lost guy in in, the, in in this case. Right. So we have been helping so many people. So we have so much of drives at the moment going on. Thank you very much for support. It's a travel business. 
and name you name one thing in the travel industry that we don't have we have everything right from ticketing to visa services to your uh, tourist visa of course then to the taxi services then we have got the solution for um, uh, what do you call cruise services yes so all that you name we have got that in our bucket very thank you brother thank you lot very thank cost effective you. also thank you so much do you take your awards you did okay perfect okay ladies and gentlemen the next award you like to now call on stage is receiving the award for outstanding contribution to society as a social worker let's call on stage hari dat joshi Dr. John Craig is saying is that whenever you come on stage, you have to smile. So he's telling everyone, "You're not smiling." So please, please say a few words. Thank you, Shubhya. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know who's going to receive the award on his behalf. I'm sure it's his son. Uh, normally, we see this photographer here taking our beautiful pictures. Aaj wo nahi hai yahan pe, but for his outstanding contribution to the photography industry, I think his son is here. Um, the award would have gone to Nasim Mir. He's not here today. Can I please request his son to come on stage? I don't oh, know your welcome, name. Look at Beta. Hello, award. <laughs> What's your name? Zain. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Zain a big round of applause as well. He's also in the photography industry. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to say a few words, then? I want to say thank you uh, on behalf of my dad. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Mayor, please give him a big round of applause. Okay, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, uh, as we approach um, the pinnacle of our celebration, it's a great honor and anticipation for this moment. I'm delighted to invite someone who embodies excellence and has been inspiration to so many. Please join me in welcoming our ward to Ormil Soni from London Immigration Services. Can we please call Ormil Soni on stage? Please let's give Mr. Soni a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and of course his contribution from London Immigration Services. Hello everyone. Only one thing I can say is, without immigration, no one will be here from the whole yes, uh, whole yes, party. Yes, so thank yes, you. Yes. And say cheers to the yes, government yes, policy. Yes, thank you. I would like to invite a very, very known guest to the stage. He's already been here before. In fact, he's just come up to me and said to me, "Although I like you very much, but he said my mother always told me that when you look at someone, when you're meeting someone, always look the, look at the shoes first." So apparently, he likes my shoes. So ladies and gentlemen, these are my shoes, uh, <laughs> and he's very impressed by them. And uh, you know, he's such a humble person that last time when he came here, he entertained everybody with a bit of French. So if you understand a bit of French, then we might get him to speak in that language. He's taught us uh, tonight to add. Um, he's joined us, sorry, to add an extra layer of prestige to our closing ceremony. His expertise and presence will undoubtedly contribute to the significance of this moment. And without further ado, I'd like to call him on stage. Please give him a big round of applause. And if you know French, if you know French, then do converse with him in French. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's call him on stage. Uh, let's welcome him. He is, of course, Dr. John Thomas Prey. Please, let's welcome him and let him share his thoughts with us today. John Thomas. Macheri, Macheri. <laughs> <laughs> He's still looking at my shoes. Here, here you go. These are my shoes, everybody. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I think uh, we are a French university, and uh, I have the pleasure to be uh, their president, and we are the most diverse university in the world, uh, having students from 161 countries. Um, the last one we had, we, as French, we were very happy, is somebody from St. Helena Island. And as you probably know, St. Helena Island is where uh, Emperor Napoleon I uh, was exiled and died there. Now, I think we have a very special person that we will give a doctor, an honorary doctorate degree based on her achievement on education in India. Now, you can call her. You'd like me to call her instead? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move forward with our congregation uh, ceremony, it's a moment of great honor and privilege. I had the pleasure of inviting someone truly exceptional to the stage. And as Dr. John Thomas Praed said, that she has contributed very well to this industry. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Nafisa Ahmed. Please give a big round of applause. Nafisa. Congratulations, Dr. Nafisa. Even Ashes are nice. This way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now you have a degree. Thank you. Thank you. Nafisa, uh, we'd like to hear a few words from you, please. Dr. Nafisa. Yes. Thank you so much. Firstly, it's an, it's an honor to be amongst uh, all of you accomplished individuals here today and to be able to receive this award at the most prestigious House of Lords. So it is indeed a great, great honor and uh, to also have my father beside me watching me get this degree is something that I really, really cherish. And uh, firstly, I mean, thanks to you, sir, for considering me worthy of being awarded this doctorate. And at the same time, uh, I would also like to uh, thank the Almighty for giving me these opportunities and my father for being a great uh, inspiration and a guiding force in mentoring me throughout my journey. And my mother, of course, was not here with me today and my husband. I would like to thank my family for supporting me and I wouldn't have been able to reach this far without their support. Thank you very much. On behalf of the university, thanks being you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for one thing. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Nafisa Ahmed, please give her a big round of applause. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know how to say this. I hate goodbyes, by the way. Um, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, inspiring speakers, exceptional awardees, and all the wonderful attendees as well. As we bring the curtains down on this enchanting evening, I stand before you with a very, very big heart full of gratitude and appreciation. And if anyone's taken anything badly, when I said, please keep quiet, please don't take it badly. I'll come and say hi to you, I promise. <laughs> you know, tonight, it's been a little quiet, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people say, gosh, it's very quiet. I always have a lot of people talking and this, that. This evening has been a little bit quiet. But you know what, it's been nice because I felt this evening a lot of you actually did listen. You appreciated every awardee that came on stage. You applauded them as well. So before I go any further, I think you all deserve a big round of applause. So please give yourselves a big, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And to Kajal also. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. First and foremost, I, my sincere thanks to our, of course, guests of honor for gracing us with your presence. 
Um, their wisdom and achievements have definitely layered a, a, a grand to this evening for sure. And to our speakers, thank you for sharing your insights. It's always good to learn from others. Um, and like actually, uh, Hitashi, you said yourself as well that you've had to cut your speech down a bit. Um, Kuldevji, you said as well you had to cut your speech down a bit. But it's not because we're running out of time. It's because you were learning from other speakers earlier as well. And it's like what you want to say, they've already said. And, you know, it's just like great minds think alike. That's how I see it. So all of you have great minds here. Um, of course, to those who have been an inspiration, a beacon of inspiration, I will say, for those who have achieved awards this evening, it's, you know, in Hindi, there's a word, Dikhavad. This wasn't a Dikhavad. This was appreciation. And every job, every work, every contribution we've had to any of the industries, organizations, it's always been because of our hard work and manat, as I say in Hindi. And that's what you all have done and achieved. So hats off to all of you. A very special big thank you to Trident Events and Media and the World Humanitarians Foundation for organizing this event in a short time with grace. Even though they've been a little quiet this evening, your hard work and dedication have been the backbone of tonight's success. And I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I have to tell you off here, whoever has thanked the, um, come, the, the organization this evening, you said thank you to Shiv Kakran, but let's not forget Disha Kakran as well, who's done a lot. And she's the one woman who has patience, trust me. I, I'm on her level right now. I, I get... Bring all three on the stage. We have to clap. We will do. We will do. At the end. Thank you. We will do. But honestly, Disha is like, I can handle her. She can handle me. And she has literally done everything but i feel that her name wasn't announced that much today so please can we give a big round of applause for disha um and of course her brother mayank and i promise you i'm going to call them back on stage they're going to tell me off because they didn't want me to call them on stage but i'm sorry um and as we wrap up tonight's festivities let's create a lasting memory together so i'm going to invite all the awardees to join me on stage for group pictures so can i have all the awardees first so jinone award minahe please come on stage Thank mm -hmm. you.